Hello, hello. I'm the official name reader. My job is to look through the first part of the first page, first part, I guess, why not, of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Swirlix and Swir Slurpuff. Basically, kind of now solidifying the stereotype that if it's a fairy type, it's probably food. You know, it's a disturbing thing to consider. What's Slurpuff actually made of? Like, is it flesh and skin and fur and muscles? Or is it actually, like, made of goo and batter? There's a thing. Anyway, today's episode of The Cringe Raider brought to you by disturbing things you never thought about before. Let's go over some bad nicknames. Firstly, Pudding. Rather than... Well, first of all, Jigglypuff is supposed to be Pudding. Like, that's its Japanese name or some shit. I don't know. When I, I feel like this is kind of a thing where Batman and Harley Quinn kind of ruin things to where instead of Pudding, you just put in. It's like, okay, there's that, I guess. Cupcake, that Mrs. Cupcake, excuse me. Can't have a Mr. Cupcake. There is no Mr. Cupcake. He, um, we don't talk about what happened. That's a bad name. Food Fighter, eh, I feel like he tried to make an idea, and then while he was presenting his idea, both of his hands broke, and he fell down the stairs, and then snapped his neck, and now he lives his wife in a wheelchair. So it's like, you tried, and then you failed horrendously. Harshmallow is okay. That one I don't hate, actually. Would I use it? More than likely not, but I don't hate that. There's a nice joke in there, at least. Powerpuff, it feels like he just took Powderpuff from the Aromatisse episode and then just got rid of the Durr, and yeah, I don't really care for that either. Cakemon is my favorite, because not even Digimon would fucking touch that with a 10-foot pole. They said, no, that's too fucking stupid. We're going to have more creativity than this mentally challenged boy. To where the point even Google's like, did you mean Pokemon? Like, you're two letters off from Pokemon. I just wanted to see what Cakemon looks like. I gotta be honest. That's kind of funny looking. It's a fairy type! Oh my gosh. I just, I love the concept of, it's like... If he doesn't outright plagiarize Digimon, it's a nick, it's a name idea that's so bad that not even Digimon would stoop to that level. All right, so I wanted to look at this one because I mean it just felt like the kind of thing to check. And because Swirlix and Slurpuff are technically kind of different foods, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Candy Floss is meant to be cotton candy. And I mean that's clearly what it's based off. It's all on obvious, excuse me. It's awesome apparently. One thing I think is funny is it's like, which may be the inspiration for its type. I think the inspiration was the fact that they thought, let's add fairy types, and then they thought of what could be relative to fairies. I don't think they made Swirlix and then just decided the type afterwards. I think that's a ridiculous thought to come up with. The thing I think is more interesting here is that tangling threads, sticky threads, European folk tours, Trachmurals in the fairy realm. That I think is interesting. And I also didn't know... Fairy Floss is a name they call cotton candy in Australia. So, there you go. Learning some shit about fairies in Australia and cotton candy. Regardless, throughout this entire journey, the point is, cotton candy candy floss is too on the nose because you're naming it what it's based off of. But I understand the logic behind it. <laughs> also, oh, I don't even want to try and pronounce that because I know it's French. That is what... Slurpuff is based off of, so we've we've summarized. Hey, do you know what we could name this Pokemon? The two things that are based off of. Don't do that. Don't name your mouth cat. Don't be the kid wearing the dunce cap. I gotta be honest, this is a this is a foreboding thing that says, Wow, there's nothing on the first page of Google and this should be the easiest fucking thing to come up with. I already had two suggestions written down before I even hit the record button. Why are you guys struggling? What is going on? We actually have comment suggestions. What the hell is this shit? You cannot seriously just copy the... Well, I mean, at least you put Food Fight instead of Food Fighter. The Tumblr idiot is such an act of desperation that you have nothing on Google for. Oh, Lord, help me. I know this is basically going along the lines of naming your food after other food, but I do like tiramisu best out of these. Would I use it? No. Would I recommend it? No. But, uh, like, the best is the concept out of all of the trash we've been looking at today. You know, out of all the dog shit, that one's got the nicest turd. I don't know which is more alarming. 
The fact that I was concerned that somebody was actually copying this guy's formula and was trying to do it, or the fact that he has two pages basically worth of terrible Slurpuff nicknames. So now, we gotta go over more of the Cringe Raider. Are you excited? We got a double episode, the first one of the series. Bake a cake! Wow! I can see why you got rid of this for your clearly superior nicknames. Cream Puff! I mean... I've heard worse, I guess. It's not really anything I care about. Strawberry! Get it, because the English people talk funny. Sugar! <laughs> Cupcake! <laughs> it wasn't good enough leaving it like this. We had to put a miss in front of it. There you go, that fixed it right up. Bam! Harshmallow! Yeah, that one's alright. Stubby! Really thought Stubby was a was a nickname to use, huh? That's low, even even by your incredibly low standards. <laughs> All right, so this was the biggest pile of horse shit I think I've read today because I had to read the Tumblr D twice, which is something I would never wish upon anyone. And I really don't understand. I actually had higher expectations for this because I was like, this should be easier than Aromatisse. Like, there's very easy, obvious things that are being missed. So, let's check the spreadsheet. I don't remember if I showed the spreadsheet before, but uh, for Aromatisse, but I'm pretty sure it was empty. Claire. E. Claire. See, E. Claire is going to be infinitely better than Claire. The fuck? Why'd you just... You can't... That... Shut up! You're stupid! Oh my gosh. Okay, E. Claire's better. Tiramisu is better. There are other food-based nicknames. They're simple. I don't really think they're special, but let's uh, go on to comment suggestions. Check this one out right here. This, this, put it, frame it, put it on the wall. This is this is what a good nickname looks like. I'm positive I saw this in a previous episode, and I said it didn't fit, and he just wrote it down and was like, Slayer Puff, it's really fits better, and yes, objectively it does. And I remember liking the nickname and being like, oh, I wish I could use this, but something was uh, off about it. But no, this, 100%. I'm all about it. And then Two Girls, One Slurpuff. I wouldn't recommend that nickname, but at least got a joke out of it. Does that even fit? I don't think that fits the character limit. Regardless, we have a joke. We will show the joke for the sake of the joke. Now, do you guys want to hear some incredibly obvious basic baby ass nicknames that you should have thought of 20 years ago option number one Willy Wonka that boy's got a chocolate factory you know that not only has he got a chocolate factory but he's got a fuck ton of candy and it's known for candy and sweets do you feel stupid now cause you should why didn't you think of it option number two this is the same vein Hershey I saw this one actually elsewhere someone was talking about like, oh, I'd use it for my shiny. Fuck it! Who cares? Yes, the shiny one is objectively a really cool shiny variant and like, you know, proof that when they actually bother making a shiny variant instead of just switching to another color palette needlessly, it could be very cool and creative. But who's to say you can't just put on a regular Slurpuff? Fuck you. Hershey's a company. Hershey is another, it's a, another Willy Wonka known for candies and sweets. That's all I gotta do, man. That's simple as shit. And obviously you could do other food or sweet based nicknames if it's very clearly miles apart. Like, you could call us nerds if you wanted to. Would I? I mean, no. <laughs> I'm really trying to think of what would fit. I don't know. Candy Floss is just... Candy Floss Marinade? I don't know how the fuck you say it. That's just naming it what it's based off of, but I mean, like, at least Hershey and Willy Wonka and Cloud and, Cloud and Candy being just different. That's just different, man. Hold on a sec. I want to do a quick Google. Alright, what I was curious about is I started thinking about Treat Land from Kirby's Epic Yard, and I was like, what's the boss for that? Uh, the boss for that doesn't fit at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. But ideally, I'm sure there are some food and, like candy based worlds and enemies and bosses you could probably pull from other games come on internet step your game up this is your chance to redeem yourself put any ideas and suggestions you have in the comments below give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good 
I I didn't really come in with a personal suggestion because this was another one of those like let's wait until the episode and see what comes up. I think I've been using Willy Wonka as mine, but I mean, it's there, man. <laughs>